All right, welcome back to Diddly Squat Gaming. We are hopefully coming through you, to you loud and clear. I had a little bit of an issue with the last episode and the audio, which always happens. Well, I, I can't even say always, but it, it always happens after an update from Windows, but it doesn't always happen with every Windows update, if that makes sense. So. Um, I did test, do a little test run, and uh, we seem to be good now. So, unfortunately, uh, I had recorded the entire series with, uh, well, with that's uh, that issue. So, I uh, I apologize for that. <laughs> I will. Uh, it's been a while since I've had that happen to me, so I thought maybe it was over with. Uh, but unfortunately, it happened. So. <laughs> Anyways, we are we are actually back in the Drownlands and we are going we are going a little ham on this episode. We need to pick up actually, hold on one second, because I noticed that the uh the task is no longer there. Okay, you know what? Not that big of a deal. <laughs> uh it's a task given to us. I don't understand why it does this. I don't know if anyone can can figure this one out, but I want to fix the uh, the bridge here. And the first thing we need to do is start tracking it. But the second thing we need to do is bring uh, concrete slabs, and concrete slabs are either in the quarry, in the actual quarry, <laughs> or they're in the drawn lands. So. Oh, that's so weird. It wasn't let me uh, change back to the drown land. So, anyways, we are going to pick them up all the way back here, and uh, we're gonna have a long, hard drive ahead of us. And this may actually, this may actually take an episode or two to do. So, let's get underway. I've got a uh, small trick up my sleeve that I'm gonna bust out in a second and uh, if you guys know what I'm doing you, you may have seen it on the map I've, I've already have uh, a vehicle staged in a uh, certain particular location and that is going to be part of our train to get these slabs all the way to uh, Zimogorsk and uh, yeah it's gonna it's basically gonna guarantee us that we have enough fuel to make it there so uh, I did throw on an upgrade. Uh, actually, if you guys can tell me what that upgrade is in the comments, you'll win a booby prize. Actually, you'll just get a thumbs up and a heart, which you probably will get anyways if you leave a comment. So, uh, <laughs> unfortunately, I'm still not sponsored by anyone, so I can't give away CD keys. I would love to, um, but I just I don't have them to give away. So, unfortunately, anyways. Even just little, the, the little like, oh, you get to download this this vehicle or that vehicle or, or whatever. Uh, yeah, I, I, one day, hopefully, I'll get that far. But anyways, we uh, yeah, we got a we got a long ways to go. So um, let me know in the comments if you guys want to see more time lapses in this game or if you prefer the uh, straight up commentary. I know some people just prefer the commentary. They don't even watch the video, they just listen to me talk about the game. Uh, which to me seems crazy, because why would you want to do that? <laughs> uh, I don't know, I've always, uh, yeah. I, I've always kind of hated the sound of my own voice, so to think that somebody wants to listen to my voice is weird. I know it's, it's not the same. Like, it, you know when you record and you hear your voice on tape? And you think to yourself, that's not the way my voice sounds in my head, which it's not. But when you when you listen to somebody else's voice on a tape recording, that's how that's exactly how they sound. And so in my mind, that's exactly how I sound on a tape recording. Uh, but for some reason, there's some psychological tweak that happens or something where uh, it's not actually 
the sound, I guess. That's that, that's what I've been explained to before, but I'm like, no, it, it kind of makes sense, right? But uh, as you can see, uh, you guys now can see what vehicle is going to be our fuel tanker. And this vehicle is literally going to make sure that we get all the way there. So we're bringing, I don't even know how many gallons of fuel in, are in this truck. Uh, let's actually, yeah, we got 423. That's, uh, that's, that, that should be plenty. Uh, I gotta, yep. Yeah. Oops. Always forget that I have to reattach the winch. Uh, come on. There we go. But yeah, I, I'm thinking, I know I'm going basically twice as far. <laughs> but uh, I have a feeling that this is going to be better in the long run than trying to go up and down the quarry. I've just, I've had horrible, horrible, horrible experiences with the quarry back in Michigan. Um, and that goes back to before I started playing the series. Like when I first started playing the game. I spent hours trying to get out of that quarry and was never ever able to do it, so uh, we, we're a little we're a little tipsy there, but not too bad. <clears throat> We've got the uh, the cat running, so as you can see, its tires are spinning. That should help us out to get through this mess. And I'm still not sure which one's better to have in the lead. I want the Azov to be leading or if I want the cat to be leading. I guess we can uh, we can always try switching once we get to the next mud hole and see which one uh, actually does go faster. Either way going through the mud hole we are um, kind of SOL because your your train you, you go the slowest you know, your, your fastest vehicle matches your slowest vehicle speed, so uh, if that's what you want to say. Uh, but you know what? I'm tempted. Let's go ahead and try switching just to see. Because uh, I know this truck is pretty slow. And the cat, to me anyways, is just this. It's got the massive tires. It's got the, the huge width. It's got the weight. It now has all-wheel drive. Uh, it now has a diff lock as well. And one of these days, I'm going to figure out which one, <laughs> which one uh, the cat came with in the beginning. Because I even think a low plus with the diff lock on is going to be faster through most of this mod. And you know what? I'm right. I feel like that was way faster than the, uh, the Azoth would have gotten through it. So yeah, I think we're going to stay in this configuration. We might not always have the uh, diff lock on. Might as well gain some speed. Heck, we could probably even throw it in high. Uh, I do want to be careful. I don't know the path very well. I guess, yeah, I guess we just go straight. Perfect. Get that nice and tight there. I am kind of shocked that the uh, the cat is allowed to tow vehicles in this configuration because the uh, there's no hitch or anything there, so there's not an access point. But it does still show up on the frame. So a lot of vehicles, when they have the service trailer or the van body add-on, you lose that access point. So I'm I'm very glad that that's there, so. Let's go ahead and throw her in high. Might be the best for speed in this, in this case. But yeah, like, look at the size of those tires. Compared to the, just compared to the Azovs, they, they gotta be twice as wide. 
and then the size of them, I think they're a good 30 inches taller. Like, they're just, there's no contest there. None whatsoever. So we'll, uh, we'll really get to test this out. I think we end up having to go through the swamp. I think it gets pretty bad, so... I could be wrong. It looks kind of dry. I guess if we uh, try to cut through the swamp, that would be a different story. I don't even think turning the engine off <laughs> has uh, slowed down the cat, so it, it has made it a lot less quieter, I can tell you that much. <laughs> yeah, I think we'll... Uh, a little sticky there. As long as I stay to the left and we don't, uh, we don't roll. Now the good news is we don't really have to worry about if the uh, Azoth rolls over because that one is uh, well. There's nothing there, so we can easily we can easily use this vehicle to flip it back over. I'm gonna try to keep this in the middle so that it doesn't want to roll over. Yeah, we'll lock up the differential just to keep all the tires spinning exactly the same. Well, in theory. I've noticed in this game they don't quite spin the same. Uh, but they should. That's that's what happens. Is it's initially welding your differential solid so that all tires rotate the same. Uh, now, I should... I should... Preference... Preference, preference, preface, preface? Yeah, one of those words. I should probably say that if you have a, say, in, in normal cases, you have front wheels and, and back wheels. Uh, so your differential locking is side to side, unless you have a center locking diff, uh, which a lot of off-road trucks and some, I believe some Subarus and other cars will have them. Uh, but those will lock front to back to be the same as well so uh, ideally each set of tires will uh, rotate it's, can rotate at slightly different speeds because I I believe this isn't a center diff lock it's just a, uh, a standard diff lock so anyways that's your uh, mechanical lesson for today let's go ahead and pop her in high Oh, bad idea. But I totally thought we would be going fast enough for high. Alright, let's go back into low plus. I believe we are getting to... the point where we can pick up our slabs. Uh, you know what? Turning on the engine helps out a little bit. Like I said, we've got we've got more than enough gas. We should be able to refill the cat and the Azov maybe three or four times. Like that's 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 a long time. So uh, let's go ahead and unwinch this. We might as well refuel ourselves while we're at it. We will stop the engine, change the truck, we will fire up the Azov. We will go in here real quick and we will grab two slabs of concrete. Or should I say two concrete slabs? I think there's three slabs in each uh, load of concrete, so... Anyways, not not important. Uh, yes, there is three. Look at that. And is there anything else we need? Oh, I wish I could remember. Now, oh, well, uh, let's see. We gotta turn around here, don't we? 
Uh, we could cut through. You know what? Do I want to cut through here, stop at the fuel station, and fill us up already? You know what? That's not a bad idea. I, I didn't expect us to grab fuel so quick, but when in doubt, we might as well go that route. Hey, that rhymes. That's fun. That's exciting. Yeah, so if you like this type of content, please let me know uh, by giving me a thumbs up or subscribing to the channel. We've had a uh, bit of a lull in subscribers this month. Um, I believe I've only gotten three. Not really sure why. Content hasn't changed. I d actually added more content. You'd think I'd get a couple more. Whoops. No, I don't want to recover. Uh, but yeah, so... Yeah, if you uh, are watching and you're not subscribed, please subscribe because that uh, helps me out a ton. And uh, soon... Soon I might actually get monetized. Which I guess is a little... Unfortunate for you guys because that means you might end up seeing commercials. Uh, but yeah, so anyways, let's, uh, let's take a quick pause. Alright, just, just had to take a, a little phone call there for a second, so, uh, let me get back into the swing of things. Uh, let me turn on my audio as well. Because, uh, yeah, it's not fun to play a video game with no sound. Uh, let's get this a little closer. All right, and off we go. All right, where was I? I totally forgot what I was talking about, so I'm just gonna randomly pick a different topic to talk about. And uh, yeah, we're uh, we're gonna pick up some fuel. <laughs> that was that was the whole point of going up this way. So let's throw on the differential because this looks like an uphill battle. We're gonna need uh, all the mustard that I can get. Come on, and I kind of... I'm going to shoot to come this way. Oh, yeah, let me turn on the Azov's engine, because that should help out a million and a half times. Yeah, look at that. So now we're cruising. No problems there. Oh, what? My... Did I get stuck? What? Ah, oh, this articulation. <laughs> Gets me every time. Alright, there we go. Alright, so we we'll might as well just go ahead and... We'll detach. We'll fuel up. We'll fuel up the, uh... The cat. The, the actual fuel tank of the cat. And, uh, let's change trucks. We'll drive the Azov up. Yeah, the Azov had some gas missing out of it, but nothing, nothing too serious. And, yeah. Let's go ahead and change trucks. Alright, well that was, <laughs> uh, very, very important phone calls to make, so. Uh, unfortunately, I'm trying to plan my, uh, 4th of July weekend. And yeah, I just, yeah. I've got things to do, finish up with work, trying to get things scheduled so that I can actually leave and go somewhere for a natural vacation. And yeah, it, uh, it, uh, it all just come, came crashing down. So uh, <laughs> needless to say, I might be here recording for you guys uh, on the 4th. So, uh, but Good news is we're we're rolling back. We're back in the game. We're yeah. I, I think I may have wasted a lot of gas idling. I don't know. Um, but yeah. Now here's the million dollar question. Uh, what? I mean, I'm heading towards this gateway. I don't know if that's the best gateway to go. Like, we could sneak around to this one. I think this one drops us off in the middle. If we go to the map of the quarry, I think this is the gateway that we're heading towards. If we spend a little bit more time on this map, we pop out here. 
and that makes getting to Zimmergorsky a lot faster. So I think that's what I'm going to do. Let's go ahead and map, map it out now. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna attempt to go this way. I I don't think I've ever gone this way. There is a trail here, but it doesn't it doesn't look promising. I mean, when when it's just wait, where's there it is way up there. OK, so we just got to get to this road here and then we'll get there. I think these are railroad tracks, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, I believe they are. But anyways, we're going to try to sneak through that way. Um, just to just to cut out a lot of the quarry map uh, trails. So uh, wish me luck. I'm probably going to need it. Those trails are not uh, are not well marked on the map, so there's a good chance that uh, yeah they're going to be tough. So, but you know what? I don't think I've gone that way. I, possibly when I first got up to this map uh, with a scout, uh, probably with the the R87. Oh my God, is that the number? I totally forgot. Anyways, I think it's the the 87. <laughs> But I'm so proud of myself for not calling it the Yaris. If you guys know, you know, right? Like, if you've watched every single episode of the series, I always have an issue calling it the Yaris. So, um, and it's, uh, it's a lot better than the Yaris. Anyway. Let's, uh, I think we can go into auto. Let's go into high. Yeah, let's get some speed going. Kind of, maybe, sort of. I mean, my wheels are slipping a lot. We're, uh, we're losing sun fast now, too. Yeah, I feel like the, the time has gone by way too fast. Just way too fast. I'm, I'm pretty sure I paused it. I thought maybe time still uh, maybe time still goes by when you pause it. I was in the uh, in the menu when you hit escape. Well, could be wrong. Maybe maybe time doesn't pause because I swear uh, we were just in mourning. Not because we were sad. Because that was the time of the day. Yeah, I know. Bad bad dad joke, right? <laughs> Come on. All right, I'm hoping, you know what? We might have to, uh, we might have to spend the night here. It's a good, good spot to stop because we're, uh, we're actually dry. So, uh, let's go ahead and advance to morning because I don't know. I, it, I'm pretty sure we were in the afternoon. And the funny thing is, is that it's about the same <laughs> darkness as it was. But at least we don't have to worry about it getting darker. Oh man, speaking of getting dark, we're, uh, we're actually live. We're about to get hit by a thunderstorm. They're uh, predicting hail and strong winds, yada yada yada. So I'm like, I had to put the umbrella down in the back, had to put the cushions away for the chairs, all that fun stuff. So, and uh, yeah, it's probably gonna blow right over us, and we'll get maybe a sprinkling. <laughs> all right, well that bridge looks safe. We're gonna we're gonna go for it anyways. You know, we just have a, a 30 ton vehicle or however, however heavy this vehicle is. Now I do want to be careful. I probably should drive the as off, but nah, we'll be fine. The trailer will follow nicely. All right. Oh yeah, this is the, uh, this is the radioactive zone, right? I remember this because I was, uh, 
I was talking about how in, I believe, Mudrunner, the, uh, the longer you were in these areas that were marked radioactive, your, your vehicle would actually deteriorate. So the, the suspension or the engine or the tires would break down due to the radiation. I was like, that's a good game mechanic. I don't know why they got rid of that. I mean, it sucks if you accidentally roll over and you're now trapped here. Uh, but you know what? That's that's part of the game, right? That was that was such a good game mechanic. I'm sad they uh, kind of sad they actually took that out. You know, there's there's really no there's really no uh, negative to being in here too long. So. You don't, you don't get radioactive poisoning, you don't, uh, your vehicles don't break down. You can't get cancer, so... Alright, uh, I think we curl this way. Alright, we'll, we'll sneak through here. I'm okay with that. I don't know what this is. Hopefully it's not what it looks like. If anyone can read that sign, tell me what it says, please. Is it like some type of army base, a barracks? I mean, I'm going to tell you off the top of my head what it looks like. Whoop. Maybe I should pay attention to what I'm doing. Uh, yeah, uh, I'm not going to lie. It looks like a concentration camp. I mean, no, no joking around. It, it, that's exactly what it looks like to me. So if you guys know Russian or actually have translated that, let me know what it says. Um, I don't want to go spreading rumors, especially about uh, subjects like that. So anyways, it's probably an army camp or base camp or something. Um, I'm just saying what it looks like. All right, so uh, that route was actually not bad at all. Wow. Oh, what is ruined warehouse? What? Am I supposed to do something with this thing? How did I just see it now? Secure, okay. This is, yeah, we have to, uh, this is probably a mission. But we're not going to worry about that. Oh, yes, that reminds me. Um, the missions in, uh, oh, what map is that? Not, not, not the Rift. Uh, no, not the Rift. In uh, the Quarry. Yeah, it's, it's Quarry, jeez. Uh, but the missions, the three missions that I'm missing in the Quarry, or the three tasks, I should say. This is not fun for this big of a vehicle to try to get through here. We're going to see if we can yank that over. I don't want to tip this over. Um, yeah, we're about to lose the cat. So let's, let's get the cat to go downhill. Okay, we'll bring it back up. That's that's the problem with railroads. They're uh, yeah, they're they're mounted, right? They're they're pretty high up. This is a weird location. Like, I'm fighting to try to not keep this thing from rolling over. All right, we'll come back and get the other one. Anyways, uh, as I was saying, those missions are probably locked behind. Or sorry, those tasks are probably locked behind uh, a mission. So. That's probably why they're not coming up. Not not a glitch. Uh, but feels like a glitch. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Hopefully that's the case. And um, once I get Zimogorsk pretty much uh, taken care of and caught up. Ooh. Hmm. Oh, we're... I see. We are kind of stuck here. Come 
come on, there we go. Let's see if we can, oh, yeah, destroy our suspension. Come on, keep that up there. Don't you roll down. All right. This truck's a little bit narrower, so I have a feeling it should be a little easier to keep on the track. That's so close. If I can just get in there and hit that square button before it tips over, we should be okay. Alright, let's let's double check now that we've uh, made it here. Yeah, we uh, we saved a lot of time. I, I think the little bit of time it took, that drive there is way worse. Uh, so let's change trucks. We're gonna go this side, I guess. Alright, there we go. Let's attach. And let's continue our trip. Uh, let's throw our all-wheel drive on for sure. Did I... There we go. All the trucks gotta do work together to get through this. Um, I guess I should have went that way because there's the trail right there that we need. You know what? That's okay. Let's try to turn now. That's not going to work very well, is it? Oh, there's so many stumps through here. Oh, crap. I'm going to, uh, yeah. We're going to have to back this up because there's no way we're going to make that turn. Cat should be able to go over the stumps, probably with no problem. Uh, but the Azov probably would get hung up, so... Let's go ahead and give the cat a little bit more room. We'll change back to it. There we go. Oh, the cat, you know what? I was wrong. The cat is getting hung up on these stumps, but... No problem at all having to deal with the cat by itself. All right, so <laughs> we've got a heck of a hill to climb. Nope, I don't want to change trucks. I want to attach my wind. Uh, let's, yeah, we'll just throw that on. Nope, we'll turn on the engine to the, the ads off and, uh, yeah, we'll just slowly go up this hill. Let's try not to get snagged on anything. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. I think I, I think I picked the right vid vi the right vehicle for this uh, for this job. The uh, what do you want to call it? The uh, the uh, assistant vehicle. The uh, yeah, what is that called? Um, it's the, the the other words escaping my mind right now, uh, which isn't too surprising. The back and it's not the backup vehicle. Yeah, it's it's the assist assist vehicle. Um, which way do I gotta go? I'm going to Zimmergorsk, so... Now the question is, is which... Uh, I guess I should have tried to figure out which port was better. Um, I got a feeling this one would have been better. I have the feeling. We're going, we're gonna go to that one. But I have a dumb feeling that that was going to be better. In fact, you know what? Uh, we're, you know, uh, we'll just go with it. It's fine. You know what? This, this path is all concrete roads. We don't really have to worry about anything but stumps. Which, again...
we're gonna get hung up on. That was so weird that the truck wanted to go backwards. And they do put these stumps right where, uh, right where they're a pain in the butt. Alright, now that we're on the road. <clears throat> we're gonna fine tune our turn here. Alright, there we go. Yeah, like, I wish that's the way it would always do. If your truck... If there's a truck that's in the vicinity of your winch cable, it should automatically go to the truck first before going to any other anchor point. That should have been a giveaway. Or a given, or whatever. I don't, I don't know anymore. <laughs> English words just don't make any sense to me. <laughs> Alright, now, ooh, this might be a problem here. This is pretty narrow of a passage. And, uh, the cat is, the cat has a wide load, to say the least. I think we'll be, yeah, we're, we're fine. No problems there. Okay, we are getting kind of low on gas. But that's not a problem. Not an issue whatsoever. Let's see if we can make it to, uh... Dimogorsk before we, uh... Before we run out. Now here's the ironic thing. So we're just now about to pass the quarry that I didn't want to go down. <laughs> and maybe that's another reason why an, uh, one of those other missions or tasks aren't showing up is because I haven't actually gone into the quarry and I'm avoiding it like the plague. I'm, I'm, I guarantee you there's other quarries on other maps that I haven't even begun to uh, play yet, so. But you know what, we'll cross those roads when we get there. Or do I want to say paths? Like, there's not really a whole lot of roads in this game, so... Anyways. No. Hold for next action. Now travel. What? No. Now travel. There we go. You know, I don't understand why they made that the same button. I wonder if I can re... I bet you I could remap it. Um, the triangle button. That, that button does absolutely nothing. Except quick winch, so uh, I mean it does something, but not in that content menu. Anyways, speaking of winching, let's get that a little bit closer. And uh, yeah, let's uh, refuel. No, I just stole all the gas out of the ads off. Whoops. Source. There we go. start that engine back up. Alright, now, uh... Oh. What? Oh, yeah. See, this is the other thing it does. It loves to do... It loves to turn off the, uh... What I was tracking. I don't, I don't know why. Uh, but what is the best... Oh, I guess we can go down that way? The cat can't do water. Uh, which is not overly surprising. That way, we're kind of SOL. We'd have to go up and around. That looks like danger all the way around. 
that gets pretty deep if I remember correctly. We we may have to say bon voyage to the cat. Uh, I think I'm going to stay away from the water path. I'm going to go up and around. I know, it's crazy. But yeah, we'll uh, we'll try to go as far as we can. Needless to say, I probably have enough gas in the Azov to get to where we need to go. But um, yeah, we'll we'll continue. We'll continue using the cat until the cat can't go any farther. I don't. Yeah, I just I don't know how well it will do on those tight trails. I also don't really know how well it will do. I don't I don't know how well the Azov is going to do. So let alone the cat and being articulated steering. This might just become a fuel point for us in the future. Crap. Um, get, no, get up there. It doesn't want to, uh, doesn't want to obey. seemed a little odd. Ah, anyways. Alright, I think we are getting into the territory of the cat not being able to uh, continue. Mainly because, yeah, it's getting pretty tight through here. And I'm not going to lie, I don't even have room to pass right now. Uh, I probably should have dropped him off earlier. Crap. Um, well. I mean... Do we go for it? Do we try to get the cat up this hill? I suppose we can try, because... The only other option I have is to drive the cat off the cliff to get it out of the way. Let's just throw our differentials on. You know what? It's... I don't want to jinx it yet. Oh, we are kind of stuck. Come on. Can we slither our way out of here like a snake? I go into low, that doesn't do anything. It's like I'm driving an electric vehicle that doesn't have gears. Come on. Let's turn off that. Let's try to winch ourselves up. Nope. Yep, rip that out of the ground. It's still attached as a winch point. I don't like those winch points. I hate those ones. There we go. Let's get it to a tree. Let's try to rip a tree out of the ground, right? Alright. Let's uh, pick that point. Give me... Get the... Oh, come on, get over that rock. There you go. Oh, pick that rock out of the way. Get rid of it. Um, I still don't have the path to get through here.
What route do I want to go? Uh, yeah, we definitely want to go down. Um... So yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna park this cat right about here. And hopefully... Uh, not the Vaughn, the Azov. Hopefully this can get up. There's a little bit of the rocks to our advantage to get some grip. Yeah! We made it! Yay! Alright, now... Hmm. Now here's the fun part. We get to go down this hill, through some mud, over the river. I'm... I'm going to say that we just refuel. I don't even know if we need to refuel. We, we definitely need a better turning radius. Again with the turning radius of this thing, right? You know what? I don't think we're going to need fuel. We are so right there. We're so right there. We're just going to go for it. <clears throat> the worst part about this is... After we get this bridge fixed, it's still not going to make getting to this side of the map any easier. Uh, yeah, we're just going to cut through here. I know the roads go that way and they go all the way down to the river, but we don't need to go that way. We've got 8x8 eight eight drive or whatever you want to call it. Come on, let's go, let's get up. The rain is not helping. Come on, rain, go away. There we go. That's how you do it. Come on, as off turn. Thank you. Such a bad turning radius. All right, there she goes. We've made it. And you know that makes sense, right? Is this all we have to do for this bridge? Why did we not have to drop off concrete or uh, metal? They must. They, I guess they had the metal. Was that the point? Is that the, what they were trying to get at? All right. Well, there we go. Um, let me check the map. We got about ten minutes or so left to the episode. Um, I probably could go ahead and end it here. Let's check. Uh, let's see what this metal delivery task is all about. And, uh, yeah, I was, I was actually quite pleasantly, brakes are bad, um, I was quite pleasantly surprised at, uh, how easy that was. It wasn't too bad at all. I, here I was thinking it was going to take more than, uh, one episode to complete. Unlike turning into this place, that's probably going to be a whole nother episode. Um, so let's see what this task is. I can't even get to it. Uh Paint turning is not this uh, truck's forte. Alright, let's accept this. We haven't even accepted yet. Accepted it yet. Um, and uh, we need to deliver two metal beams to the warehouse. Which is picked up at the factory and driven all the way 
back ooh, back over here. Alright, so pretty much the same route we just came. So let's go pick up the metal beams. Because this is probably going to take 10 minutes just to make this. Does it does it help having this bridge? <laughs> Does going across the bridge actually help us? Okay, so we got metal beams there. Um, I suppose the answer would be yes. Ooh! Where's the abandoned car? That's the abandoned car, right? Yes, we can kill two birds with one stone in the next episode. Uh, we will take these metal beams across the bridge down through this way. We will pick up this abandoned car by towing it. We will then drive until we get to the warehouse where both the car and the two metal beams will be uh, dropped off. And we will kill two birds with one stone in the first, I'm going to say, 20 minutes of the next episode. That's my guess. Anyways. Uh, thank you for watching. Hopefully the audio turned out better. It seems to be working, seems to be working much more better. Seems to be working fine. That's probably what I wanted to say. And uh, yeah, we will uh, we will see you guys in the next episode. Bye for now.